Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. As you can see, I got my hair buzzed but didn't shave my beard and mustache yet. I had to get a haircut because it, it was growing out too long. But I am returning to you again for the second album review that does come out for this Friday. Uh, and this is for Deftones Ohms that I'm going to be reviewing. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, what did I think of this album overall? I think it's going to be album of the year. That's for sure. It's looking like it's going to be. Um, I wasn't crazy about Genesis that much, but now coming to a realization of me being so in denial about the song and how I really thought of it, I'm actually really liking it now. So I decided to bump the rating up to a 5 out of 5. I did review the track last week. You can go check it out. I said Chino Marino's screams were not as great. But when I was hearing the other songs, it there was a little more screaming. And no, I wasn't hating these songs at all. I think this is an excellent record. Uh, Ceremony is another good track. But it's like almost three and a half minutes. So... It's not really that long, but the title track, wow, it closes this album very well. Ohms has got to be my personal favorite song of the year. Uh, and Urantia, it's pretty heavy. You're going to hear a lot of heavy uh, guitar riffs and a lot of heavy drumming uh, in Ur Urantia. Uh, if I'm saying it right. Uh, but Error is another good song off the album. I personally loved it. The Spell of Mathematics starts the song with Chino Marino's scream. Uh, and it sounds really awesome. Uh, most of these songs, if you've been a Deftones fan for a while, I just got into them like last month because of the ohms track so i'm fairly new to this band i will definitely do marathon album reviews of theirs but it will have to wait till 2021 unfortunately so like january of 2021 maybe uh but yeah this record as a whole it's awesome i personally loved it uh Pompeji I think it's called uh I might be pronouncing it wrong is a really awesome track the riffs in it are great uh the guitar riffs I'd have to go back and hear this album again because there were some things I missed in this album but uh as a whole there's one track that I like the melodies to, and that was This Link is Dead. And that was the how the overall sound of the song is. It's very dark and very ominous, too. <laughs> it's got a weird melody when you go into it. And Genesis has that, too. Uh, the crawling out of the ashes lyric i really like in the genesis song and chino marino scream is really good uh i didn't think i'd like the genesis because i was so in denial about liking it or not liking it as much as ohms which they're both awesome tracks in if you really think about it they're both awesome tracks they were great singles to get you hyped up for the album. And yeah, a week ago we got Genesis and now we got the album. Or it's going to be out at midnight, of course. But I personally found it on Kingdom Leaks, so 
definitely go check that out if you haven't, if you want to listen to it early. Uh, but, yeah, Radiant City was, uh, another amazing track. Headless had a really weird, uh, opening, like it was gonna be kind of an uplifting track, and then it goes into a dark, weird place with how the overall sound of the song is playing and it's just wow i'm just amazed by their creativity with this record and i think this is going to be album of the year personally i feel like it could be album of the year but i we won't know until we hear the other albums this year um there's only a few more months left of 2020, so thank God. Because uh, this year wasn't a good year, but... Music-wise, it was alright. I wouldn't call it great. But there have been some good qualities about music this year. It sucks that there's not concerts around anymore. Not gonna be concerts for a while unfortunately but at least these artists are still putting out their material and new records and new singles and all that or bands as well but overall deftones ohms is an amazing album i highly recommend you guys buying this when you get the chance it does come out in store tomorrow on the cd in in a audio cd copy I was going to plan on getting it, but I just can't afford it right now. But I do have it downloaded, so I can listen to it until something else has to be put in its place to be on my phone. But out of 10, I think I'm going to give this an excellent rating of a 10 out of 10. This is an amazing album. I highly recommend you guys check this out if you're fairly new to Deftones. You're going to like this record. And I definitely will check out their old material for sure. To see how their return to form sound is. Or their sound is. Uh, going into Deftones. But yeah. This is a really good record. I do not see myself putting it in under a 10. Because 10 out of 10 is what I'm rating it. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Deftones album Ohms. If you've heard it. And if you like this album review. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for Carrie Underwood's My Gift. Uh, album review and Joji's Nectar album review. I think I'll be doing Joji's album review next. And then Carrie Underwood's probably going to be tomorrow. Of course. I actually had to go out for a little bit. So I'm sorry I couldn't do this album review until now. I just got done listening to it for the first time. And I will listen to it again and, and again and again. Because <laughs> it is so good this album uh i didn't think i'd like these tracks but they're bangers uh in my opinion i personally think this could be album of the year and ohms is probably the best track this year so it may have a spot in my best songs of 2020 uh genesis will be in the best songs of 2020 for sure too uh, at a certain number but I'll let you guys know by the by November what I put those two singles in my best songs of 2020 list of which number I put it at. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, album review, the second album review I did for this coming up Friday's album reviews. Definitely stay safe. Take care. I hope you did enjoy it. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible, this review. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.